Jum Repsu. Jum Repsu. Hi guys, how are you all doing today? It's Saturday, which means it's a day for vlog. And we're going to do a video about learning Cambodian language. And also I have a special guest right here. He loves to travel to Southeast Asia so much, especially Cambodia. Well, he got a Cambodian wife. So anyway, <laughs> so he's going to tell us some common words that we should learn, for example, like for Westerner like him before he travels to Cambodia. So it's like an easy communication, for example, like thank you or hi and stuff like that. He's going to speak in English and then I'm going to translate it in Cambodian and then he will repeat it one more time. So that way you guys can hear it two times. should start by saying uh, I was learning the Cambodian language for about a year and a half and still am very terrible at speaking, <laughs> but definitely knowing a few key phrases is uh, very useful when you're traveling. Yes. So should we get started? Yes. Okay, we will start from really, re really common words for example like well the when wherever you travel mm -hmm. that i've found the most useful thing you can learn to say is thank you okay so thank you in cambodian is akun 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 super easy and simple and it's really really useful like and people really love when you are westerner and you can speak my a little bit even just thank you mm -hmm. And you, you end up saying it all the time. Yes. If you, if you know how to say it, you say it all the time. So thank you is awkward in Cambodian. And then growing from that, you will also hear very commonly akon charang. Akon charang, yes, means thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Yeah, so akon and akon charang. Yeah. One thing that most people want to learn is hi and how are you? Um, Start with hi. Okay. <laughs> it's, hi in Cambodian is, is longer than in English. Sosday. <laughs> Three syllables. Sosday. Sosday. Yes. Means hi or hello. It it depends on how you use it, but it the same words in Cambodian is sosday. Sosday. Mhm. Mm and then how are you? How are you? Are you going to translate the whole sentence? It's going to be a long no, like Enoki River. <laughs> 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 what? What's an Enoki River? Inoki. A river of mushrooms? <laughs> anyway, so how are you in Cambodian? Um, normally, we don't translate the whole sentence. We use it in the shortcut. We will, we would say Saksabai means like, how are you? We would just say Saksabai. It just Sucks, like that. Saksabai. Saksabai. It just means you ask someone, how are you? And then if you ask me, how are you? Which means you say, you say it to me. Saksabai. And then when I answer it, I would say, I'm fine. I would just say Saksabai means it's almost exactly the same question and answer. What, for example, if I see a friend on the no, street. It, it is exactly the same. Yeah. If I see a friend on the street, it's like, hi, uh, Saksabai, then she would just say back, Saksabai. It's because. It's because the literal translation of sucks by is fine. Mm -hmm. So when you ask somebody, you say sucks by, means fine. Yeah. It's a question, but mm -hmm. it's also an answer. Fine. Yeah. So sucks by. Sucks yeah. Sucks if by. you want to ask someone, how are you? You can just say sucks by, but it means like almost you drop the tone a little bit at the end of the sentence. You would just say sucks by means like it's almost like, how are you? And then when you say I'm fine, you say it kind of like straight, like, Sakabai, it's just like that. Same in English. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that the words that we would really like, it would be really useful in Cambodia is goodbye. Goodbye. It's mean lihai in the like. Sorry, in, one more time. Lihai. Lihai. Lihai means like in, in general conversation, but if you want to be polite, or you would just say chumri lia. Yeah, really formal. Chumri lia. So lihai. When you're out in the market and stuff, it's helpful to know how to ask how much does it cost? Oh yeah, that is the other sentence that you don't want to translate the whole thing because it will be really, really long. So you would just say Tlai Pon Man. Tlai Pon Man. Yeah, I mean, it's basically like how much it is, that's all. Tlai Pon Man. Tlai Pon Man. But that's, that's the common use. So that's yeah, Tlai Pon Man is yeah. like 
Clay Bond Man. And um, I know from experience, if you want to ask, where's the bathroom? That's another very useful one. Um, you don't need to say the full sentence. I, I don't even know how to say the full sentence. You just say the word bathroom. Yes. You, if you want to ask where is the bathroom, you, we wouldn't say the whole sentence either in Cambodia. We would just say bathroom. It's bantoptuk. Bantoptuk. Yeah, when you go to a restaurant or something, all you say, you just say bantoptuk, they will understand that you ask for bathroom and then they will just point mm -hmm. where it is. And that's because it literally translates to room water, water room. <laughs> Bathroom. So bantop means room. You don't really need to know that, but another good word is tuk, yes. water. Mm -hmm. You want to ask for water? Just tuk. 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 Nyam tuk means drink water. Nam tuk. Nyam tuk. So. Nyam bai means eat rice. Nyam bai means eat rice. Nyam tuk means drink water. So, yeah, another use word nam means to eat, eat or, or drink. To drink. So nam tuk means you want to drink water. Nyam bai means you want to eat rice. But there's a caveat to that. You use nam bai to really eat anything. If you just say you want to have a meal, you say nam bai. Yeah, um, basically like... Literally it means eat rice. But eat you... rice, but it, it means like we only, we only say it like eat rice means nyam bai, but it basically means the whole thing, whole set of food like whatever food you have on the table, you don't say you have this or that, you just say nyam bai. Yeah. That's it. It's just to eat. Yeah. Just is it because you eat rice three times a day <laughs> with every meal? It's true. We <laughs> did eat rice three times per day. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and then dinner. Um, very useful in Cambodia. You probably eat in a lot of restaurants because you're not cooking yourself. Mm -hmm. Very useful thing is to ask for the check, which you will have to do every time. I should start by saying everyone understands. The sign. Yes. You go like this, you wave them down, but it's fun to be able to ask for the check. So, um, so if you want to ask for a check or a bill, that's what they understand in Cambodia. It's good loy means good check is the same good loy. Or if you want to be polite, like some good loys mean checks, please. So you would say some good loy. Some good loy. Yeah, means checks, please. Or you can just say good loy means check. Yeah, I always just say kit loy. Yeah. I didn't know that or at you, some point. you can just yeah. kit loy. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> so another um, useful word mm -hmm. stemming from that is money. Loy. 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 Money, money, money. Skra. Money, loy. <laughs> we like loy, loy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when you address somebody, there's several different ways to call somebody. And probably we can start with the most common one. You, you end up, it's because it's the polite way to call someone that's roughly around your age. Yeah, so if, there, you, if, you're not, if you're not sure that if they are younger or older than you, it's safe to assume they are older than you. It's polite. Yeah. It's really polite in Cambodia, don't get it wrong, because the way we speak when you call someone that is a little bit older than you, which means you respect them. So if they look really, really young, so you don't need to worry, but you're not really sure. For example, they look a little bit younger than you, but a little bit older than you. I would just assume they are a little bit older than you, so that way it's really respectful to Cambodian people. So what do you call them? So if someone a little bit older than you, you would call them bong. Bong. Means so. like for if the woman is mean older sister, if the bra if the boy is the <laughs> boy, <laughs> it's the older brother. So but for women and men, we normally use the same word bong. Yeah, if you see someone on the street and you have a question and you want to ask them, I would just say go with bong which means they're mm -hmm. a little bit older than you and it's really respectful don't call them old when you just like met someone mm -hmm. but if they look really really young than you like younger than you you would say own means like own means they are younger than you oh, it's really backwards from it. in the west we think it's respectful to assume someone's younger than they <laughs> actually are yeah in, in i don't know that countries but in cambodia we always go 
we always go with bong, which means you respect someone. Respectful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I found this useful for um, the tuk-tuk drivers. A lot of times they'll be a whole generation older than you. They'll be about the same age as my parents. And so you would call, um, call the men at least pu. Yeah, pu, which means pu. Um, they look younger than your parents. So you find yourself saying a lot, akun pu. Yeah. Um, pu, it's just, pu is just for men. He, for example, don't, he, don't get too complicated. No, for example, you would call someone pu if that person looks a lot younger than your parents, you would call them pu. That is for men and for women is ming. Look at her face. I know it's complicated, but normally top top drivers are men, so I would just click, just go with boo. Okay. So since we went through a little bit what common words you would use if you go to Cambodia, so what is the hardest part about learning Cambodian language to you? Uh, the hardest part about learning the Cambodian language uh, is actually using it. Yeah, uh, and I think this is true of learning any language. It's because mm -hmm. you have to get out there and kind of embarrass yourself mm -hmm. and yeah. say things wrong so that you can know the right way to say them. And that's it's really hard to actually make yourself do that. And especially now, uh, people in Cambodia speak a lot better English, I think, yes, than they, when they first they started do. going there mm -hmm. a, a decade ago or so. And so you can really get by with. Uh, you you can get by not knowing any Cambodian. Yeah, you I will be fine. You can just use your hands, like sign language. That's what that word. But most people know com common English words. You can get around just fine. Um, but it's it's kind of fun to know mm -hmm. some of, some of these yeah, words. Yeah, I think so. makes a lot, it a little easier. A lot of common words. If you go to Cambodia, it's first thing you would say just like Tuesday, socks bye. Akun, I think they would be really happy to talk to you. And also, most of the time when you go to Cambodia or the other countries, you just go to a tourist places. And in tourist places, a lot of people that work there, they can speak English. Mm -hmm. Even not like perfect like you guys, but yeah. you will understand what you they mean and stuff like that. Yeah. But this word is just uh, some few common words that you would use if, for example, you just get off the taxi, you don't know where to go or whatever it is. If no, you're I in mean, that situation, you're going to need to know more than this. <laughs> no, I mean like you just start to talk to them, for example, start to like, start a communication yeah. with someone, you know, just stuff mm -hmm. like that. Anyway. It makes it more fun to say mm -hmm. thank you in the in the Cambodian language. Yeah, um, I, I remember when I first moved to Simri, I got really excited to speak to a Westerner. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> even, even some Westerner can speak Khmer a little bit, it makes me so excited because I'm like, this is really cool, you know, like... So it just... It's fun to learn a little mm -hmm. bit of where you're traveling. Yeah. So let's start over. We're going to review... Uh, we're going to review what we learned today. So thank you. Akon. Akon. Thank you very much. Akon Chirang. Akon Chirang. Hi for informal. Susadai. Susadai. Hi formal. Jum Repsu. Jum Repsu. How are you? Soksabai. Saksabai. Uh, I'm fine. Saksabai. Saksabai. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Lihai. Lihai. That's informal. Then the f goodbye formal. Jumriblia. Jumriblia. Uh, how much does that cost? Tlai pon man. Tlai pon man. Mm -hmm. uh, where is the bathroom? Pan tok tok. Pan tok tok. What's the word for water? Tuk. Tuk. How about uh, eating food? Nyam bai. Nyam bai. Um, check please. Kut loi. Som kut loi. Kit loi or som kit loi. Yeah. Um, how do you call someone that is slightly older than you? Ba. Bong. Bong. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a good time learning the Cambodian language with us. Uh, Thank you guys for watching and we see you all in the next video. Oh, did you guys see his shirt? He got it in Cambodia when we went there, the North Face with Angkor Wat on the top. It's really cool. It's fine.
Take five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's take five. I think it's top eight already. <laughs>